Coming in at number 10, we have The Ending. The rando nodding people want to bring another level of enjoyment to the rando nodding experience, so they do this by telling their users to think of an intention before they go on their little trip. It's something that gives the adventure a little more meaning, and sometimes people get what they were looking for in the strangest ways. Redditor Drake Berserker went out rando nodding, and he stated that he wanted to find an ending. That is something very vague. But the universe knew how to take this information and give him exactly what he was looking for. There is a very nebulous way you could understand the meaning of an ending, but this is the most blunt rendition of the word. Ending up in a cemetery with a freshly dug grave is a very creepy way for the app to show you an ending. Now is this a premonition from the universe showing you what you need to see? Or are the phones just listening to us and an AI is interpreting what you're saying and then sending you in the right direction? Coming in at number 9, we have a ritual site. I mean, I can't confirm that this is some sort of ritual site, but I'll let you guys get a peek at what I'm I'm talking about and then we can try to break it down together. I don't know what it is. If you know what it is or what it means, comment down below. I don't know if it's like witchcraft or something. I'm scared. <laughs> So you get what I mean. It looks like some sort of site where there was some sort of strange ritual that was taking place. Like there's a whole circle of sticks going on and then there's a circle at the center of the whole thing. There's also some weird markings in the grass that seem like they're shaped like a person. If anyone out there knows what these symbols mean, please let me know in the comments below. Coming in at number eight, we have consider yourself lucky. I have no idea why someone would go out rando nodding and ask for something negative. My intention would always be like money or the answer to my problems or someone telling me I look handsome. I really like that. I would always want things to make my day better, but some people out there love the taste of danger and I guess they want to have their limbs slowly removed by a psychopath. Now this one is not spooky because of what the person saw, but it's because of what happened. The Redditor Fly Sensa 2 went out random nodding and their intention was to find something evil. Why would you ever want to find that? Well, when they got out of their house, they went into their car only to find this. If there has ever been a sign from the universe telling you that you are dumb and you should stay home. It's that. The evil that you were looking for, trust me, you don't want to find it. You're better off chilling and just take a breather. Please. Coming in at number seven, we have metaphorically scary. A scary encounter can be a lot of things. It can be someone chasing you down the street with a knife, trying to steal your organs to make a cannibal stew. Or it can be reality slapping you in the face and forcing you to deal with the world around you. This rando nodding encounter was the latter. Someone went out into the world with the intention of finding truth, and this is what they ran into. Okay, that is very dark. It's an American flag over a crumbling foundation and some random trash that has been thrown about. With everything that has been going on in the US, with the constant chaos that has been sweeping all over the news, whether it's secret police being sent into Portland to arrest protesters and taking them to unknown locations, or the coronavirus reaching numbers of all-time highs day after day, or the president doing a bean shoot in the midst of the insanity, things can feel a little hopeless at times. Coming in at number six, we have Come Inside. The next point was a story I snagged off of Reddit. Our writer says they were randonauting in Montana and it led them into a forest. It was almost sundown, so they wanted to make this as quick as possible. Nothing like following your phone into the woods to try and find a random location you've never been to before, right before the sun goes down. It seems like many safe decisions were made that day. Well, they continued on into the woods until they came onto a path. There were some signs along the path directing them down the right direction. This seemed a little bit comforting because at least it showed that some people had been here before. Well, when they eventually got to the end of the path, they found a rundown cabin that had a large sign on it that read, come inside. Yeah, that's gonna be be a no for me, dog. Well, our Redditor took this as a sign that they should turn around and never come back, and that's exactly what they did. The sign was probably nothing, but it could have been the laziest murder trap ever built. Coming in at number five, we have watch out when you're in the woods. So it seems that scary murder traps aren't the only thing that are going to be waiting for you when you walk into the woods. A rando nodding warning article told of some pretty horrific encounters that kids had while walking through the woods. Something that's a little more threatening than an ominous sign trying to scare teens. But what about a bear encounter? Yes, apparently this happens quite often. I mean, sometimes they can be harmless, but still very intimidating. But if you are randonauting through the woods, you should be sure to bring stuff with you that can scare off predators. And don't be looking down at your phone constantly because you might end up someone else's snack. Or just harassed like that girl went viral a few weeks ago when that black bear was just like poking at her. That was so freaky. Coming in at number four, we have Don't Go Inside. Redditor Yo Yuke 696969 decided that they wanted to have a spooky adventure 
and the intention that they put onto the world was that they wanted to see something scary. Well, be careful what you wish for, kids, because sometimes you're going to get slapped right in the face. Well, metaphorically speaking, a Redditor didn't actually get slapped in the face. Well, they ended up walking down a long, dirty road and they saw this building. Yeah. Yeah, you can't get much creepier than an old rundown mansion that looks like it's going to be the location for the next Resident Evil game. Oh, and if the look of the mansion wasn't creepy enough for you, here's something a little deeper to freak you out. Apparently, this mansion is still used for religious retreats. What kind of religion has never been specified, but it's safe to say that this is some sort of secret cult mansion in the middle of the woods. Yeah, I think it's time to head home and pretend you never saw this place. Coming in at number three, we have be careful what you wish for. So a TikToker goes by the handle Anna 49048 wanted to manifest destruction and she ended up in the woods looking at all of this. So today we tried rando nodding. We decided to manifest destruction and I thought it was so f creepy that we came across all of this sh in the middle of the woods. Yeah, that doesn't look like a good time at all. I don't know how serious this was. Like, I don't think a murderer would leave behind a sign that's labeled chop shop in the middle of the woods that seems a little too obvious and kind of tacky. It's probably just some old props that were left out from a Halloween tour, but it's still creepy to come across all that stuff randomly. The video ends with her saying that the destruction got even worse when she went home, but that kind of sounds like something you would say because it's clickbaity and it keeps people going through your videos. But guys, you will never believe how insane the next two points are. So you have to stay tuned in this video to see what the top two are. See what I did there? I keep you guys in the video. Coming in at number two, we have Chase Down. Maybe here's a good idea. Don't go rando nodding at night, especially when it's going to lead you into the woods. I feel like I can have so much more fun just staying at home alone, watching Netflix and binge eating something that's made with high fructose corn syrup. Well, someone who goes by the handle Tia Langley wanted a little more thrill in her life and her and her three friends drove into the woods at night and they were quick met with some random dudes that were not happy to see them. So this is what went down in the clip. One dude approaches the car with a flashlight. Why was this dude in the forest? We will probably never know. He rushes the car and then two more guys show up and one of them punches the car. Maybe they were camping there and they were pissed off to see some people driving through their campsite or maybe they just wanted these girls to get out of their car so they could use them as a blood sacrifice. <laughs> I don't know. And coming in at the number one spot, we have possibly a murder site. You know, I like games that make you adventure around the world in a fun way, like Pokemon Go. Let me catch a Pikachu. I don't want to catch a knife in the neck. So the TikToker Dream X Faith went out on a rando nodding trip with a couple of her friends and they came across this. Okay, so we went on a rando nodding trip and we just found two phones that were literally like stepped on. We also found the battery. So we also just found bones and what the yeah, that's gonna be a big no for me, thanks. Why was there a phone and bones out there? Who did they belong to? Was this all set up for some views? I really have no idea. But there is the possibility that they stumbled upon a place where someone got rid of a couple of bodies and all of the stuff that belonged to them. I mean, this is partly the fault of the murderer. You should do a better job at hiding bones and bodies and all that junk, God. Coming in at number 10, we have too many clowns. I don't know what's going on with this app, but it seems like it has a knack for taking people to places where no human should ever go. This first point was written by someone on Reddit who said when they trekked out on the rando nodding experience, the intention that they put out into the universe was fear. If you don't know, something that you're supposed to do with rando nodding is give out an intention to the world to help guide your adventure. Why would you want to find fear? I will never know. Well, this person ended up walking through the woods when they noticed something very strange. There were balloons that were tied to trees leading into the forest. When our Redditor followed them, they came to a halt when they saw a creepy clown standing alone in the forest. Well, maybe he was alone, who really knows? Well, it should go without saying that our Redditor ran out of the forest faster than they have ever moved before. Coming in at number nine is the scariest place. So this experience comes from YouTube channel Exploring with Eric, who set their intention as show us the scariest place ever. And as you can imagine, Rando Nautica does not disappoint, and it definitely didn't with this one. The coordinates led them to a long dirt road that had signs posted everywhere. One was particularly bizarre and was written in Spanish. Upon translation, it was apparently a warning from the witch who owned the property they were on. It said she had eyes on them at all times which great that's just what 
I need on a little field trip out, like I'm just gonna have some fun, you know, vibe it out. But then I see that, hell no. The road was also lined with two fences that had creepy dolls hanging from them all over, and some were burnt, and some had limbs missing, which is very common for black magic rituals. At the very end of the road, they found three mannequins dressed in old clothes just standing there like scarecrows. I mean, is it the scariest place on earth? I don't know, is it pretty damn scary for a Monday? Yes. Coming in at number 8 we have lightning strikes. Sometimes you can see what's going to threaten your life when you're randonauting. It will be something right in front of you. I read once right about someone out randonauting and the intention that they set out to find was peace. See, that is what I'm talking about. You should be trying to bring that kind of energy into your life because it's positive and very important. Well, it turns out that the universe didn't want to bring that to this person because they ended up walking into the middle of a field, then out of nowhere it seemed like a storm moved in and it started raining and not even 10 feet away away from them, there was a massive lightning strike. They screamed and hightailed it out of there. Now is this story true? I have no idea. Wouldn't the lightning like move through the ground and zap them or something, especially if the ground is wet? I'm not a scientist so I don't really have the answer to this, but who knows? If you guys know, let us know in the comments. Filling at number 7 slot are the bags. So this experience comes from TikToker Baddest Bunny on the block, great username by the way, who uses the app to find creepy scary and then posts about it. So in this TikTok, the coordinates take the duo to a spot by a river near a random bus station. There they found an abandoned tarp next to what looked to be a freshly covered hole in the ground. I would have left at that point, but they decided to investigate further and found a shredded black garbage bag under the tarp. Inside the bag, they found a weird object covered in some kind of red liquid and a shovel. So now it's like, what the hell did this person bury in this hole that they clearly don't want anyone to find? The duo then then called the police who collected evidence from the crime scene and god knows what happened after that. Do I want to know? I'm not really sure. Coming in at number 6 we have Steve Ronan's Adventure. I don't know how many times I gotta say this, but you guys are using this app wrong. Stop asking for horrible things when you should be asking for positive vibes to flow into your life. The YouTuber Steven Ronan went out to find something dark and twisted. Not exactly what I would go out looking for. Well he ended up driving down a dark road that had pentagrams carved into trees. See at this point I would pack everything up and start heading home, but Steve is a trooper and kept pushing pushing forward. Him and his camera crew found themselves at an abandoned house that looked like it was location for the next Texas Chainsaw Massacre movie. And right when things looked like they were going to end with someone wearing Steve's face, the police show up. You know, I never thought it would be happy to see the police, but I'm always open to be surprised. Coming in at number 5 is The Best Friend. So this one was shared by the user small underscore pink who said she went random naughting and set the intention to anything to do with her best friend. Now for some context her best friend committed suicide two years prior and so I guess she was looking for a sign or a reminder or anything really that might have to do with her. She followed the coordinates to this random grassy area and saw a raven right above her. Almost poetically it dropped one of its feathers which was super freaky considering her best friend had always said that if she were ever to have a spirit animal it would be a raven. I just don't get how the app does this. How could it have known about the spirit animal and how was the raven even there? Like it just doesn't make sense. Make it make sense to me people. They're meant to be randomly generated coordinates. It's not that random. At number 4 we have Look Who's Watching. Sometimes with rando nodding the experience doesn't end when you get home. Whatever your intention you put out into the world might have bigger plans than just letting you see some sights and making content. The YouTuber Mia Cole went out rando nodding when she ended up in a field with a bunch of junk. It wasn't anything too interesting, but it wasn't the location that she went to during the day that set people off. It was the video that she made later that night when she got home. She was doing a regular thing, breaking things down, and in her window was something very strange. It seemed that there was a pair of yellow eyes that kept peeking through the window. Wait, what? The common consensus among horror lovers like yourself and myself is some sort of creature or being that saw her while she was out on her adventure, followed her home, and took interest in her. That is terrifying. Filling at number 3 saw is what could have been. So finding dead bodies on Rana Nautica isn't really as rare as people think. It's surprisingly common given that it's an app that randomly generates coordinates for you, so I don't really know. Also, drinking game, how many times can I say randomly generating in this 
video, <laughs> let me know. <laughs> so this one comes from TikToker Adam Castillo, whose username just misses most of the vowels, whose girlfriend wanted to get severely scared. So the intention they put in the app was body, which I feel like can genuinely never end well. Either way, the coordinates take them to an empty dumpster, and the last time I talked about a rando not finding a dumpster, there was blood smeared all in and around it. This dumpster, however, had a single black garbage bag in it that looked weirdly full. They contemplate opening the bag and decide against it, because they realize I don't actually want to get as scared as I thought I did. No police was called and no nothing. Like, bruh, open the bag. You could have solved a cold case or missing persons file or something. Number two, we got Hellfire. Now, I'm not a religious person, but there is something so creepy about demons and demonology. And this next randonauting experience would creep me the hell out. A group of friends went out randonauting and they didn't want to put out any intention. And I guess when you do that, it brings in some pretty bad energy because the trip took them through an area that none of them had seen before in their own suburbs. In fact, they didn't even know that this area existed. But at the end of the journey, there was a rundown church. There was graffiti all over it and some of the windows had been smashed out. Now, for for some reason, this group of friends thought it would be a great idea to head inside this abandoned, rundown church. I mean, the fact that the door was open didn't help. When they went inside, they started exploring, and they felt like something was watching them. There was something strange about the whole place. One person commented that they felt like they were being watched to their friends. They then went a little deeper into the church, and they found a giant pentagram with some candles burning around it, and what looked to be blood. The candles were still lit. This was enough to get them to leave, but one of the people who went out on this journey complained about about brutal nightmares that lasted for a month after this adventure. And finally, Anima 1 is The Cemetery. This one is utterly creepy and was shared by YouTuber Noah db 5 who wanted to find haunted spots around his university campus. The app then took him to a cemetery, but as he's approaching it, you can hear this shrill screaming that you just can't get out of your mind. Like, if I heard that in real life, it would just etch itself into my brain. It's the kind of scream where you just know someone is inflicting pain on this person. After exploring the cemetery for a bit, he goes to a different coordinate a while later and hears the same screaming again. The screaming is coming from inside the woods and then it kind of morphs into this animal-like sound. I don't know what he tried to find but I hope he's glad he found it. I on the other hand do not have time for screaming banshees. Oh god, there's more screaming as we're approaching the graveyard. Starting us off at number 10 is 5 minutes. So this one comes from TikToker that Welsh dyke whose friend told her about Random Nautica. So one night she decided to use it and go to the two locations it told her to since they were close by. And FYI, she didn't mention what she set her intention as, otherwise I would have told you guys. But the second location was like 5 minutes from her house. And so she's driving there and it ends up being a specific person's house. A woman from the house comes outside and just stares at the user and smiles at her, not creepy at all. So she tries to send a message to the app to report that she had been to the location and for some reason it wasn't going through. So she called her best friend who was like, just give it five more minutes and even the user was like, I felt like I had to stay for some reason. Then as she's driving back the way she came, a police car passes her and she sees like three police cars and an ambulance blocking off the road. There had been an accident minutes beforehand and she literally saw the guy being put into the ambulance. Had she left when she was going to, that car accident would have happened to her. Minutes. She was saved by minutes. Coming in at number nine is the building. So this one is freaky as sh comes from TikToker Young Zalo, who decides to go to a random Nautica coordinate with his friends at 3.30 a.m. The coordinates lead them to this random building in Duluth, and as soon as they're starting to get close, the street lights just start flickering out of nowhere. As soon as it starts flickering, that's when you know something is very off. The group then start contemplating whether to go inside the building or not, with the user being like, can we please go home? I would be this guy. As they go to turn around, they see this deer run into the bushes, or they thought it was the deer. The skin of it was grey, which had them all thinking it was a skinwalker, which is so, so much worse than a deer, you guys. At number 8, we have The Village. This one is from TikToker Playboy Lissy, whose coordinates led her straight into the Blair Witch Project or something that looked a lot like it. The user and her friend picked the two locations that seemed the most appealing. Both of those were in the woods though, so off on their little adventure they went. At first they find this closed up tent, which they're too scared to open because what if someone was still inside or on their way back to it. The next coordinate was a 5-10 to ten minute walk from the tent and it was this hut structure sort of thing that was made from wooden sticks. 
There was a wooden teepee tent looking thing in the middle and it looked like whoever made it made wooden spiked barricades around it for protection as well. The top of the entrance of the teepee tent had the skull of some antlered animal and that's when I thought enough was enough and it left. I wouldn't have even gotten to the teepee tent thing, I would have been like bye. Filling out number 7 slot is the cemetery. This one was uploaded by TikTok user Ho Falani whose random nauting adventure took it to this tiny cemetery in the middle of nowhere. Now they're initially behind the fence away from the field but the friends see that there's something hanging from the tree in the middle of the cemetery so they decide to take a closer look. And that my friends is how they get you. They just entice you and bait you and they just pull you in. Anyway as they explore they find this half broken grave stone with two raggedy Anne looking dolls on both sides of it which is super freaking weird. They then inspect the tree and there's this open suitcase hanging from it and inside of it was this upside down half naked doll and on the ground is the bible. Now what is up with these creepy dolls? Wasn't Annabelle a raggedy Anne doll too? <laughs> Now at number 6 is The Shed. So this random nauting adventure comes from TikTok user Emily Cullen whose coordinates took her to this old abandoned house. And mind you this house is the creepiest thing you've ever seen. It's falling apart, the windows are broken, the front gate is just left open, there's a bunch of trash strewn everywhere including two large black garbage bags that look like they had something heavy in them. Like a body perhaps and that wouldn't even be the first time a body was found on TikTok. Random nautica. But there are also words carved under the window of the house but the user was too far away to read them. They didn't want to get any closer because they felt this presence watching them. Ironically the coordinates didn't lead them to the house, it led them to the house's shed which was hidden in the shrubbery in the bag. The house was creepy enough, I bet my life on the fact they did not go into the shed. They would, they did not. I refuse to believe it. No one has a death wish. Coming in at number 5 is the dog. This one isn't scary in like a horror way, it's scary in the wow, life can work in wonderful, scary, mysterious ways sometimes kind of way. Was that too niche? I don't care. Either way, this one's from TikTok user Slug Lexa, who just wanted to get her mind off the world and do some rando naughting. Now, a few weeks before they filmed this TikTok, Alexa's mum's dog Lala ran away and got lost, and they couldn't find her anywhere. That's quite sad, actually. So Alexa and her friends set their intention as mom's lost dog, and they end up at Mojave Desert. Out of nowhere, as they're walking, this dog just runs up to them and is the friendliest little thing ever. And he actually then starts leading them towards the coordinates on the and it ends up being a line of Joshua trees, which is odd since they're usually always found scattered around, not on a line. Now, I'm just amazed at the fact they literally manifested this dog. They really wanted to take it home, but it actually ended up belonging to the family who lived nearby. That honestly wouldn't have stopped me. I always just see like little dogs and I'm like, I must kidnap you. You know what I mean? I never would, but I want to. At number 4 is the Storm Shelter. This one's from TikToker BridgerCell2702 who went random nauting with her boyfriend and the coordinates led them to this open field with this chained up storm shelter. But they couldn't get it open for sh** despite even using wrenches so they tried prying it open which worked since it was so old. I don't know how or why they would go inside, I would not. What if there's some radiation mutant animal in there or something? Yeah, you don't know. Now part 2 was uploaded by her boyfriend Jumbo Shrimp 2702 which shows them actually inside the storm shelter. There's a bunch of canned food stocked up in there from the 80s, it's crawling with spiders naturally and they randomly find a hat in there from their high school. Now I know storm shelters are meant to just protect people from from tornadoes and whatnot, but this one looked like a proper bunker made for the end of the world. Like they were stocking up for like six years at least. Filling at number three slot is the camp. This one comes from TikToker Glossy Sophia, who shows us her random nauting adventure. It starts off with them in this forest, and they get to their coordinate location, and it shows what looks like an abandoned campsite. You see a few plastic chairs, a half buried shovel on the ground. The duo then decided that they had seen enough and got the hell out of there. And as they were leaving, they came upon this giant a bone. I'm sorry, what? A bone? Near a shovel and abandoned camp? Does that sound like something out of CSI Miami? Absolutely. Now I don't know whether an animal or person was killed there, but oh hell no. Nah. I'm not doing that. Now at number 2 is the house. So admittedly the background music of this one makes it a whole lot scarier but it's still pretty terrifying all the same. Shared by TikTok user Keel780, it shows them walking in this grassy weedy abandoned sort of area and they pan around so you can see the crumbling walls that look like they could have surrounded a house at one point. It then pans to the user walking up to this log cabin that has the number 666 on top of the door and I don't know about you but I'm not trying to accidentally stumble onto Satan's summer cabin. 
cabin, and despite being a wooden cabin, the door of it looked very medieval, very like super fortified and whatnot. Whatever they locked inside should stay locked inside, in my humble opinion. I may not know much, but I know enough. And finally, animal one is the trail. This one started off pretty PG 13 and innocent, so I didn't think it'd be that scary, but it proved me wrong. Uploaded by TikToker Aliyah, her and her friends get taken to this bridge that they've been to before, so nothing out of the ordinary is happening just yet. They're about to leave thinking the coordinates were a bus until they find a sort of puddle of blood that seems super fresh. Like you can tell in the video it's wet, you can see that it is like glistening almost. They then realize the blood actually has a trail, so they decide to follow follow it. It takes them down the road and over this railing in this back alley, so whoever was bleeding somehow made it all the way to this railing and jumped or slid off to the other side, clearly trying to hide or suffer in peace away from any attention. The video ends with one of the friends deciding to follow the trail around the corner and that is the biggest cliffhanger I have ever been left on in my life. Like leave me on red, I don't care, just tell me what happened, what did you find? Starting off this countdown we have the ending, posted on reddit by the user Drake Berserker, he decided to go random nodding and set his intention to an ending. I can tell you right there that that is not a smart move. Why on earth would you choose that? Like the app could have led you to your death and ended you. Anyways, it actually brought him to a cemetery, and the exact point he was brought to was a freshly dug hole in the ground. That's so creepy. He's just lucky that he didn't end up buried in that hole. In our ninth spot, we have something creepy. So, Reddit user Ricky Roma18 decided to set his intention as something creepy. And with this app, one thing that I have learned is if you ask, you shall receive. I should mention that earlier in the day, Ricky and his friend were joking around, saying that if they set the intention to war, that they would end up getting blown up by a mine. Well, the app brought them right to a memorial plaque. The plaque read, Demeanor Salvatore Agostini died by a mine in 2404-1945. Yeah, they definitely got something creepy. I mean, what are the odds that they were talking about that, and then next thing you know, they're brought to that specific point. It's so freaky and weird. In our 8th spot, we have The Abandoned. So Reddit user Nova Melody decided to fool around on the app with his friends. They put the word abandoned as their intention and set off. They were brought to a field surrounded by trees that had a house, a couple of sheds, and a barn. But all of them were destroyed and had the words stay out spray painted on them. They were going to enter one of the sheds but heard low moaning voices coming from inside, so they fled. But I guess the app really did bring them to an abandoned place, so you got what you asked for. Coming in at number 7 we have the figure. Posted on reddit by the user payish23, they shared their rando nautica horror story where he witnessed something ghostly. So he never shared what his intention was, but the app led him and his friends down a dark dirt road to a dead end. When they reached the dead end, they got out of the car to explore. The guy was taking photos of his surroundings when they found a dead cat in the middle of the road. Then they started to hear weird noises in the distance, so they got back in the car and drove home. When he was home, he decided to look at the photos he took. And that's when he saw a figure standing in the background of one of the photos. Yeah, that's a no for me. Making our way down the list number 6 we have the stalker. The thing with this app is that even if you don't set your intention to anything bad, something scary can still happen. Take this story for example. One user claimed that she and her friend decided to set their intention as friendship. Aw, like that's so cute. But when they arrived at the destination, they found a van waiting there for them. They left immediately, but the van ended up following them. They ended up being chased by the van until they eventually lost them. But what's freaky is that there are tons of other stories where users claim that some sites have people there waiting for them, or that a car has also followed them. So it's kind of like a common thing that has happened to others. We are now at our fifth and halfway mark with the animals. So Reddit user Help I Think I'm Emo decided to set his intention as to find something spooky. And boy, did he get that and more. 
So the app took him to a forest. When he started getting close to the point, he started to feel very uneasy, but he kept going. The app ended up taking him to a creek in the forest. That's when he noticed it. Across the creek was a pile of dead animals. That's where the app was telling him to go. Being scared, he fled. But before doing so, he saw some sort of a large figure in the distance watching him. There certainly is something off with this app. Like, too many scary things have happened. In our fourth spot, we have The Stranger. I know everyone wants a good thrill every now and then, but do not put scary as your intention in the app. I'm warning you. And if you don't believe me, check out this next story. So a group of guys did this and the app brought them along a dark dirt road to a dark field. They sat in the car waiting for something to happen. And they got what they wished for. Out of nowhere, a tall man in a white top and black jeans starts running towards the car. He had blood dripping from his nose. Thankfully, the group made it back home safe and sound. And I feel bad if that man like just needed help or something and like wasn't evil, but still pretty creepy. Coming in at number three, we have the suitcase. If you're into random nodding and TikTok, then I'm pretty sure you have seen this video. I saw it months ago and it still disturbs me. So the TikTok user Ugh Henry went out random nodding with his friends. They set their intentions to travel and ended up at a beach. At their destination, the group found a suitcase which is creepy because his intention was travel and then you use a suitcase to travel. But when they opened the suitcase, the smell was overwhelming and they saw black garbage bags in it. They ended up calling the cops and days later it was revealed that the suitcase had a dead body in it. I literally don't know what I would do if I was the one who found that. Like I would be traumatized for life. That's so scary. Moving on to number two, we have the message. So Reddit user Guacamole created a post asking for help analyzing the signs Randonautica has given her. So she claims that she is an 18 year old girl in a secret relationship with a 23 year old from Tennessee. She also adds that the relationship is online. So this girl asked the app what her boyfriend's true intentions were. The app brought her to a large body of water and a bunch of rocks. She figured she just didn't do it right, so she tried it again with the same intention. But the second time, the app brought her to a park next to a bunch of water. Then the third time, the app brought her to another body of water. I know you're thinking what I'm thinking. Then she changed it up and asked if her boyfriend was going to hurt her. And the app brought her to an apartment building. The name of the building was Bristol, the same city where her boyfriend lives. Okay girl, you want some advice? Your online boyfriend is going to kill you and then discard of your body in a lake or something. Seriously, it's too weird. Or, or maybe he just wants to go swimming with you. But chances are, he's got something sinister planned. Especially if it's online, like you don't know who he is. He could be a catfish and then actually be a serial killer. And in our number one spot, we have the dangerous hobby. Born King 2007 posted on Reddit warning everyone how dangerous rando nodding is and how it nearly destroyed his life. So story goes that he kept witnessing scary things while going out on adventures. One time he witnessed a gang fight, another time he saw an old man fall into a ditch. But regardless, he kept going out multiple times for two months. That's when bad things started to happen to him. A tree fell from his front lawn and crushed his brand new truck. Days later, his cat went missing and was found dead floating in his neighbor's pool. He also got stung by 14 wasps and someone broke into his home. Now he believes that somehow he has disturbed the matrix and has become an attractor or void point. Starting us off at number 10 are human remains. This one blew my mind, oh my god. So TikTok user uh, Henry went around nauting with his friends and the coordinates took them to a beach in West Seattle. They didn't mention what intention they put into the app, so I don't know if their intention was to find something horrific, but that is what they found. Near the rocks under the bridge, the group found a black suitcase. 
Uh oh. They obviously ventured down there to get closer and eventually opened the suitcase to find a huge garbage bag inside of it with this god awful stench coming out of it. They were trying to poke it with a stick and I mean your mind goes straight to one thing, it's either expired food or a rotting dead body, there is no in between. The randonauts called the police and when they came to investigate they found human remains inside of it. Like that is so messed up I can't even wrap my head around it. And the police didn't just find that suitcase. They found a bunch more, meaning the person who was killed was also dismembered. <laughs> Open it. Able to sleep. <laughs> it stinks, y'all. It washed up. It's oh. <gasps> oh. Coming in at number 9 is The Lady. This one was shared by TikToker Marlena Sanchez who said she was playing around the app and decided to go to the location it gave her. Now I don't know what she set her intention as but it clearly wasn't anything good because it led her to a school parking lot. That sounds all well and fine but there was a woman just standing loitering around the middle of the lot and she had a knife. It's a knife. <laughs> Literally, I was like, what the hell is this? The woman then starts chasing down the rando nords with her knife and they make it back to their car just in time and end up escaping. Who is this woman? Why does she have a knife? What is happening? What was your intention? Look, she literally has a knife in her hand and she was looking right at us. What the heck? Seconds later, we passed by again and she was not there. She disappeared. This app is weird. At number eight, we have the clothes. This one comes from TikTok user Killer Queen Bites, and she was out random naughting with a friend, and they had set their intention as seeing something cool, interesting, love, positive. So who would have thought they would have ended up in the place that they did? The couple was led to a very pretty lake, a bit run down, but still quite nice. And that is a positive, interesting thing to see, but then they just started exploring and going deeper into the area for fun. She said the vibe of the whole place felt ominous and off like they shouldn't have been there. After going down the lake a bit more, they found a really small sweatshirt and sock laying in the water which was really bloody weird. There was also a rock nearby the clothes that had either a T or a Y carved into it depending on which angle you were seeing it from. Maybe it was a starting letter of the person's name? Near that they found this branchy enclave almost that had a shirt tied to it and when they took a closer look they noticed the splatters of blood on it. A sewer opening wasn't far off the area either so this whole thing just gave me major Pennywise vibes like who did you drag in there and kill? Number seven slot is the call. This one's from TikToker Emily3, who got an anonymous call as soon as she got to the target location from the app. And apparently, this has happened to a lot of randonauts, not just Emily. Rumor has it that the call is an invitation to an alternate universe, so if you answer it, you're getting hologram there or zap there. I don't even know how you're getting there, but you're there. But if you're not ready for that, then don't answer the phone. <clears throat> Simple as. Legend has it that's an invitation to an alternate universe. And if you're not ready for that, then don't answer. Now, number six is inside the hole. So this one was shared by TikToker Jazzy83, and her coordinates led her deep into this trail in the forest. And while she was walking to the destination, she found a deflated balloon that said best mom ever. Now, I don't know if that was related to what they ended up finding, but I'm pretty sure it was because of the proximity, and because who the hell is having a Mother's Day walk that deep into the woods? It's weird. Now, on the left of them, they found a huge white coffin just in the grass. Like, how the hell has nobody found Found this coffin before them, like that is screwed up. There are also holes on the side of the coffin, and the user literally takes you inside the hole. Thankfully, we don't see anyone moving in there or anything like that, so no one was, you know, coffined alive. But I really didn't need to see inside the coffin, like, unnecessary. Coming in at number 5 is Jamie. This one is trippy if it is real, but the bit they're talking about wasn't actually recorded so there's no way we'll know for sure. Anyway, this one's from TikTok user Rag City, whose coordinates led them to some abandoned dirt trail. One of the randonauts called Jamie goes out to investigate with the flashlight from her phone but rushes back before going too far. I would never be the one volunteering to investigate. Oh hell no, I'm staying in the getaway car. Cause even if you don't make it back in time, I'm going. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> the person filming thinks Jamie just got scared and that's why she came back and she's like no it's because I heard Natalie call out Jamie even when the windows were locked. Turns out nobody in the car said her name so it's like what intention did you put in for the app to lead you somewhere where someone is saying your name who you do not know. 
You got scared. No, because I heard Natalie saying Jamie even when the windows were locked. No, I didn't say anything. You didn't say Jamie? At number four is the bin. This one is utterly screwed up and comes from TikToker KennyV99, whose coordinates led them to an abandoned bin in a field and I feel like a lot of people ask me what I mean like if I'm at a fast food place or anywhere and I'm like oh do you have a bin so I can throw out my gum and they're like a what sorry and I'm like a bin you know a garbage bin a trash can and they're like oh yeah yeah I'm like forget it it's a bin how do you not know either way the user gets there and there are flies everywhere and it smells horrible they walk up to the dumpster to find it empty but dried blood is smeared everywhere on the sides on the bottom it's like Okay, whose murdered body was dumped here and left to rot? And is it not bizarre that the app is meant to take you to all these randomly generated places, but how are they randomly generating so many murder scenes? Something doesn't make sense. Filling out number three slot are aliens. I love some extraterrestrial going on. It's always somehow less scary than supernatural. Anyway, this one's from TikTok user Blood Pixie, who set her intention as alien. She drove to the location, which was this grassy field, and you guys know that fields are always somehow alien related. And the trees by the field had Christmas baubles decorating them, which was super weird. And there was this wooden post nearby that had a literal yellow sign on it with an alien on it, which read Alien Zing. What is going on there? Is that like the alien, that Area 51? Is that their like holiday house, their summer house? What is that? Now at number two are the men. This one comes from TikTok, it's Adrian C. And I don't know what he said his intention to, but let's continue. While following the coordinates, the app took the duo to some shady forgotten beach 10 minutes behind this hill. There they found a Polaroid of someone's dog, and then Adrian's phone starts glitching out, almost like it was a glitch in the simulation. Something seemed to be interfering with his signal, and it only happened when he got to the coordinates. Then out of nowhere, three men in masks can be seen coming towards them on some speedboat thing, and they getting closer and closer and the user starts getting worried about whether these men have guns or not. I don't know what his intention was but clearly it wasn't anything positive if they're worried about being gunned down. Get the hell out of there. Hello? Hello. And finally at number one are butterflies. This one's from TikTok user Owens Coochie. <laughs> And he spends the whole day going to different coordinates with his friend. First they manifest red and yellow, and then they set their intention to butterflies. The coordinates brought the randonauts to this trail they'd never seen before, which was weird considering they'd both lived in the area their whole lives. How do you miss something like that? They start going down the trail, but the more they zoomed into the spot on the phone, the further away it seemed to get. Like, you, they just weren't getting closer to it. They eventually got to this abandoned leafy lake area, and Owen gets a call from an unknown number. Number. Aren't you glad you didn't pick it up, Owen? Yeah. God knows where your ass would be right now if you did. Then they happen on a bunch of animal skeletons and bones, and they realize the ground was covered with patches of fur. Like, was there some animal massacre here? How does this have anything to do with butterflies? This is not what I was expecting. So it brought us to these trails, and we've lived in this town for like, what? Our, our whole lives, and we had no idea there were trails here. Starting off with number 10, man on the side of the road. I just went random nodding. And our intention was death. And we were on our way to the spot. And I look out my window and there's someone laying in the gutter. This one honestly gave me chills. So user Mike and Ray captioned the video, this just happened in Aurora, Colorado. And then added text on the video saying to not go rando nodding. And the video starts with her crying, saying not to use the app. Then she says how she said her intention to be death. And that when she was driving really close to the location, she saw a man on the side of the road laying in the gutter with a woman on top of him, kind of holding him and trying to help him out. So the user then pulled over when she got over to them, realized that the man had been shot. And then she had to call the cops on their behalf. And in this video, she's crying so hard at some points, it's hard to understand what she's saying. So if that's any indicator of the stuff this app makes you encounter, it can be really messed up. In at number nine, man in a field. Sky. <laughs> oh my <laughs> God. 
I can't. What if the person oh. shows up in my rear view camera? User at Pemere had another really creepy experience. Captioning her video, so we tried Randonautica and this is what happened. Then showing her filming outside of her car in the pitch black. In some sort of field it looks like. And you can see in the distance there's a man walking towards them completely alone. And some of you guys might be thinking that this could have just been the man's property and he was trying to see who was trespassing or something. Which could be true, but it's also just really creepy that he was alone in the field in the pitch black when literally nothing else was around. And you can see the girls quickly leaving while still showing him walking towards them. And at number 8, creepy shoe. User Merc Garcia captioned the video, you won't believe what we found. And I honestly didn't believe it until I saw it for myself. The video starts with the user showing that they have arrived at the destination and it looks like a ghost town because no one else is really around. Then it looks like they go into some sort of construction site because there are just piles of sand all around them. Then they approach this one pile and as they're walking up, you can see that there's a shoe sticking out of the pile of sand. So one of them goes up to the pile and starts hitting the shoe with a stick. I assume it's to see if it's just like a random lost shoe or to see if the shoe is attached to anything. And it ends with the woman hitting the shoe multiple times and when it doesn't move and the dirt starts to fall, she suddenly runs away, telling the other friend that she just saw a leg. There's a leg, there's a leg, there's a leg, there's a leg. There's a leg. No, there's not, no, there's not. And I don't know how it ended, but I hope they called the cops to report that. And at number seven, scary white van. This location. I was like, mm, I know where that is. It's about five minutes away, so I drive out there. Mind you, it's midnight. I haven't charged my phone, and I didn't tell anyone where I was going, so I'm stupid. A user named Sour Bongwater captioned her TikTok, Always Randonaut with Friends. And she describes how she decided to go to a location that was about five minutes away from her house, alone when it was midnight, and not tell anyone where she was going. Then saying it wasn't what she found at the location that scared her, but what happened when she got home. So she said she went to the location, and it was a random field with nothing really there. Then she saw some cop cars and decided to dip. Then she decides to leave, and notices that when she pulls back into her driveway, a white car pulls up right behind her, with their lights fully facing her car. Then she shows a video of herself in the car that night, freaking out about the fact that there's a random white van fully watching her. Sadly, she doesn't tell us how it all ended, but I'm assuming she recorded the TikTok the next day, so she was obviously fine. But I'm sure she was still incredibly creeped out. And at number six, Invisible Man. So there's that dude. Keep an eye on that red truck. Never he's goes. literally right behind you us guys. Now. He's right by that mailbox and he's not there. He's not there and the truck is not there. What the f***? What the f***? User Rayleigh captioned her video, y'all what the f? and re-uploaded a video from a user, Shaylin XO. And in this one, she didn't say what her intention was or give much backstory as to what happened, but what she showed was really, really creepy. Basically, it starts with her showing that there is a man walking pretty closely behind their car with a dog in the daytime, as well as a red truck really close behind him, which are both, you know, pretty normal looking things. Then it gets really creepy when she shows her backup camera of the car. And in the camera, you can see the mailbox that's like directly beside the man, but you can't see the man or the red car in the backup camera. And just to make sure it's not a crazy coincidence, she then turns the camera to the man once again. And you can see that he's come even closer, but he still wasn't seen on the backup camera. And I'm not really sure what that all means, but it's obviously really scary. Halfway through number five, skulls. This next one is from the user Alex Kemp, and it's captioned, Randonautica is just one big old nope. Then in the video, you can see a group of girls walking around in the daytime, saying that they wanted to try the app out to see what they'd find. Then saying that the app took them to some woods. Then when they showed up at the exact location that the app told them to, they ended up finding a skull that looked pretty old and kind of human. Then they discovered a really small one right near the other one. And to be honest, the skull looked pretty real to me, like it looked pretty worn down, but the fact that one of the girls was smiling smiling while looking at the skull is making me second guess if it is real, but incredibly creepy if it's all true. And at number four, empty bullets. User Leanne Reynolds posted a TikTok with her trying out random nodding. In the video, you can see her and some friends driving together towards the coordinates. She then shows them all walking in a forest area. Then she ended up ending the video showing bullet casings in the forest, which is obviously really creepy. She then made a part two of the other time she's gone random nodding, saying that the other times weren't as creepy. And the worst thing she saw was a goat skull the other times, which personally would freak me out, but I guess maybe it's a common thing where she's from, I don't know. And at number three, Kitten. There was a gate blocking us from getting where we needed to be. Then when I was turning the car around, I kid you not. Come here, buddy. 
this kitten was there. So this one might be creepy, or it might actually just be the app working how it's supposed to. You can decide for yourself. But the user, it's Bree Green, shared how she was supposed to adopt a kitten that day, but her mom told her not to. Then she said she was sad for a while, but after learning about the Randonautica app, she went on it and tried to find a kitten as her intention. So the app gave her a location that was about five minutes away from where she lived, and she started to head out. But when she was approaching, she saw that there were gates blocking her from getting to where she needed to be. And because she didn't want to trespass, she ended up just turning around. And then the craziest thing happened. When she was turning around, there was a kitten right there running towards her. And a lot of things on this app might be BS, but that's a pretty insane coincidence if you ask me. And at number two, coffins. Me and a bunch of friends decided to go explore a park that was located nearby all of our houses. And in the creepy back area, you found a lot of coffins. And we got curious and opened one and there were Spikes. This next one is another really creepy one. So the user Krista Ball posted a video with the caption, possible cult activity near my house, question mark. And he showed him and his friends being led into a creepy field area by the app. And when they arrived, you can see all sorts of random stuff that looks like it came out of a horror movie, including tons of coffins. And when he opened up one of the coffins, it had spikes on the inside. Then there's a large wooden plank that can be rocked up and down, and it looks like an old school torture device. Then he ends saying that if the video blows up, he'll come back at night. And when he ended up coming back with a Ouija board, thankfully he didn't find any spirits, but still really creepy. And finally, at number one, giant skeletons. Somebody asked me, I get this a lot, um... Have you ever had a crazy experience using Randonautica? Yes. This last one is pretty cool because one of the founders of the app named Conrad decided to talk about the craziest things that he's encountered while using his own app. He starts off saying that he has had a lot of stories of what he called mind-bending synchronicities, but he speaks of one where he was with a friend and the coordinates was in the middle of the lake. So they walked as closely as they could to that point and they were talking about giant skeletons at the time. Then when they were approaching the point, they saw this random man meditating at the edge of the lake. They then asked him if he thought intentions could affect random coordinates and the man said yes. Then they randomly asks them if they can see a rock wall across the lake. And when they say yes, he tells them that there's giant skeletons under it. And that creeped him out so much because it was exactly what they were just talking about before they encountered this random man. Starting off this countdown, we have the demons. Okay, so this has been a common fear among many users. A lot of people made posts asking questions like, I'm a religious person, can I still use this app? They believe that it goes against their religious beliefs because it's theorized that this app taps into the spiritual world. Yep, some people think that this app is somewhat satanic and that when you set your intentions, dark spirits or demons are the ones that make it happen for you. I mean, on the app's website, they even talk about how it's meant to explore and enhance spirituality. And a lot of eerie coincidences have happened with the app. So a lot of people believe that the app is no good and is kind of like making a deal with the devil every time you use it. In our ninth spot, we have the tracker. So with this app, it brings you to a random location, or so they claim it to be random. Theory goes that they actually set this whole thing up to make your intention come true. For example, if your intention was soccer, then they would go to the location before you get there and plant, I don't know, a soccer ball there. That way, when you get there, you're totally shocked, like, oh my gosh, a soccer ball, it's totally true, you know? Meanwhile, they actually just planted the item there for you to find. Or maybe the locations are not random at all. They are already predetermined with planted objects. Moving on to number eight, we have the hackers. This next theory is that people People are hacking into the app and seeing what locations people are traveling to. They then go there before you and wait until you arrive. They then will either kidnap, rob, or kill you, or who knows what else. Now, this is actually a pretty creepy theory considering tons of users have made posts saying how they arrived at a location and found somebody already there waiting for them. In one case, a user said that there was a creepy van at the location, which was an abandoned area, so it's not like they had any business being there themselves, and the van ended up following them for miles until they could lose them. So if you use this app, be careful. In our seventh spot, we have the magical app. So a lot of strange coincidences have happened to users of this app. Some are fairly scary, others are actually pretty heartwarming. For example, one user's intention
intention was love, and they got sent to a cemetery where their brother was buried. Another user asked for anything to do with their best friend who died two years prior. At the location, she saw a raven and it dropped a feather. Well, when her friend was alive, she told her that if she were to have a spirit animal, it would be a raven. Pretty freaky, but cool, right? So now people believe that this app uses magic to make everyone's intentions come true, which is why you have to be careful what you wish for. If your intention is death, something bad could happen. Making our way down the list at number six, we have artificial intelligence. So this app generates a location for you using like quantum physics and a bunch of other things I don't understand. Basically, it said that random numbers are converted into coordinate locations for you. The theory goes that this isn't so random at all. In fact, the app is an advanced version of artificial intelligence, and the AI is so smart that it picks a location that it knows has something there to fulfill your intention. That's one smart AI if that's the case. Something Siri could never do. We are now at our fifth and halfway mark with the dark intentions. Another theory surrounding this app is that it was set up by a group of people. One of the possibilities was that it was created by the government or police to see how easy it is to control citizens. Which is freaky considering most users do exactly what the app tells them to do or that they created it to see how different people would react in different situations. An alternate theory is that it was created by a bunch of people from the dark web. They are now planning to use this app to get away with crimes. For example, sending people to a crime scene to either mess with evidence or set them up to be at fault for the crimes. In our fourth spot, we have the simulation. Another theory is that this app was created to prove to the world that we live in a simulation. So if you look at the company's Twitter account and check out the accounts they follow, it's pretty weird. They mainly follow conspiracy theorists or paranormal and alien researchers. They also follow other people that post frequently about the simulation theory and dimension jumping. Pretty freaking weird, we know what they're into now. So it's believed that this app somehow has a connection to all this. Somehow this app alters our reality. It proves we are living in a simulation and tries to break us from our predetermined destinies. Moving on to number three, we have have the Russian experiment. So it's said that this app was developed by two Russian scientists and their team of mystery individuals. Besides that, we really don't know who the developers are. In a post they made about the app, they said that a person who only goes by the name Comrade came upon some sort of technology, which the developers then turned into a game. So yeah, two Russian men teamed up with some mystery man, Comrade, to turn some weird piece of technology into a game. <sighs> I have so many questions. I'm just as confused as you are. And why does this have to be such a big mystery? It's crazy. So now theory goes that we are part of some sort of Russian experiment. At least it's not the Russian sleep experiment, that's all I have to say. In our second spot, we have the glitch in the matrix. Multiple users of the app claim that the app causes glitches in our matrix, and that using it too often can can result in negative consequences. For example, one user used this app multiple times within two months. That's when bad things started happening to him. One day, a tree fell from his front lawn and crushed his brand new truck. Days later, his cat went missing and was found dead floating in his neighbor's pool. He then gets stung by 14 wasps and then someone breaks into his home. So he's convinced that by using this app so much, he disturbed the matrix. So it's believed that this app kind of like hacks our reality and sets a new outcome for us, which goes against our already predetermined path. That's why a lot of people feel anxious when going on these adventures. It's because you are literally disturbing the matrix. And in our number one spot, we have the parallel universe. This next theory states that you can use the app to travel to alternate dimensions. I know it sounds crazy, but hear me out. People have had some creepy coincidences happen to them while randonauting. Like one girl's intention was death, and while going to the location, she found a woman holding her husband who had been shot. On a less sad note, 
another person set their intention as the color red. And they got brought to a garden that had one single red flower. So theory goes that this app somehow transports you to another dimension whose timeline fits with your intentions. Lots of people that have gone random nodding have claimed that their life was never the same after. Like they noticed things around them had changed, people's mannerisms were different, as if they were in another universe. And take a look at this. Some say that you can tell if you've jumped dimensions if there's an increase in owl sightings. They call it the owl's eternity test. And guess what? The owl is the official mascot of the community. Mind blown. Starting us off at number 10 is the validity. So a lot of people are skeptical over whether or not the coordinates generated are random or not. Like with that viral case of those friends finding the bodies in the suitcases, how on earth would the app randomly generate coordinates that would lead them to a murder case? There's chance and probability and then they're just straight up rigging the system. Now according to The Atlantic, the app bases itself on the fact that our brains can influence a computer random number generator which I find very hard to believe. The evidence of that case is based in research carried out by Princeton back in 1979, where they concluded that we can use micropsychokinesis to affect machines in small ways. Hence, the app asks for our intention and the whole thing is just based on our intentions. But psychokinesis is a psychic ability, a way to influence something without touching it, and even if it was real, it's definitely not common. It's not like everyone who's used the app has the ability, so how are the coordinates as accurate as they are? That mystery remains unsolved. I've always wanted to do that. Coming in at number 9 is a scam part 1. Now keeping on track with the app's coordinates, let's tackle it at a more basic level with intentions like red and blue or purple. The app will take the person to an object or building or something of that colour and the person is just bamboozled that technology is somehow so magic. Even with abstract intentions like closure or happiness, people have still had the same reaction when they're taken to seemingly empty coordinates of a field or a forest clearing for example. Like Jennifer, how is this forest clearing giving you closure? It's not. Well, the app is basically a perfect demonstration of the Barnum Flora effect and confirmation bias. There's my high school psychology coming in though. <laughs> Thank you, Ms. Barker, for enlightening my soul. Now, confirmation bias refers to the tendency for us to interpret or search for or recall information in a way that supports our already in place beliefs. So, for example, say you text someone and they don't reply. A normal person will just assume the other person is busy. Now, someone with low self esteem probably thought this person didn't like like them already and the fact they never responded to the text just confirms this preconceived fact that they don't like them. Similarly on Randonautica, if you believe your intention that you're going to find something that's going to make you happy or give you closure, then finding a creek will somehow make sense to you and make you believe it. Like of course this creek symbolizes happiness, how can it not? At number 8 we have a scam part 2. And the Barnum Fora effect on the other hand is when someone believes that a description applies specifically and personally to them when really the description could apply to literally everyone. So again, let's take the happiness and the creek example. Anyone can look at a creek and think it's a beautiful free experience to watch. The Barnum Fora effect will have the randonauta believe that they were meant to find this creek. The decline slope of the creek represents their personal decline in life. The fast water reminds them of life just rushing them by. The whole picture is just a reminder to themselves and only to them to take things slow and that they'll find happiness. When really, my description right there could be applied to so many people looking at a downward stream, you know? Filling at number 7 slot is the bag. So Instagram user Natalie Wernick shared her random noting story with the page randonautica underscore challenge and it's pretty screwed up. Her and her cousins followed the coordinates which took them to a park. The park was empty and really nothing sinister was going on. Weirdly enough, the exact location led them to a plastic bag on a bench. It had a sweater and a beige bag inside which was even more sus. The user shared that they lived in Juarez, Mexico where people's body parts have been found in freezers and bags quite frequently these days. They didn't want to open the bag in case they saw something that could scar them for life, but the bag is just there. And why were the items inside a plastic bag? I feel like someone would only do that if they wanted to dispose of these things. The user obviously didn't report the incident to anyone, but who did that stuff belong to? Are they even alive still? What's happening there? Now at number 6 is the logo. Now if you haven't downloaded the app or seen the logo, it's basically a golden circle with an owl in the middle of it tilting its head to the side. And of course 
course on top of it it just says Rando Nautica. Now according to the apps creator comrade the owl symbolizes the path of wisdom, learning and how you can influence the future. Owls can see in the dark and Rando Nauts are going to places that are outside their conscious awareness which is also kind of like traveling in the dark. On the other hand there are also a lot of superstitious beliefs surrounding owls. Certain Native American tribes and Germanic tribes believe the owl represents wisdom but also brings about death. The circles around the eyes of owls have caused some tribes to believe they're the fingernails of lost souls and ghosts. Could that be the reason the app has caused people to find such horrible things? Are owls linked to the supernatural and do the creators knowingly use it as the logo for that reason? Who knows? Coming in at number 5 is creepy. Now this has happened to a handful of random nautica users on reddit, they've set their intention to something creepy or scary and the coordinates will end up being just another part of their house. Like A what the hell is in my house that the app deems creepy, B how do you even know the inside of my house and what's in it, C if I walk there am I gonna get killed or possessed, like can you imagine the user put in something worse like murder and the coordinates were still in their own house. What does the app know? Know about the house that you don't. It's mysterious and it's a freaking creepy. At number four is location. Now I know everyone's so worried about the Chinese government and TikTok having access to our private information, but this app literally knows exactly where we are, where we're going, and where we've been based on the app. That's 13 million people in the US that have downloaded this app and are using it whose location is now accessible. Is that not a worrying thing? Your location is one of the biggest things you should keep private, so I find it ironic and funny how just nobody cares about this. It's all like yeah ban tiktok blah 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 but around and nautical's like he 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 just sneak up on the side, devil's advocate. Filling at number 3 saw is the cover up. Now hypothetically say the app leads you to a crime scene which it has before. Now you don't know it's crime scene and you're putting your hands all over this bag or luggage bag whatever it is. You open it and see a dismembered body and you don't know what to do. Do you call the police and tell them that you found a body but what if they come and think it was you behind the crime since your prints are now all over? Over it. What if the creators of the app are actually linked to the mafia or a crime gang of some kind who are behind all these crimes and this app was just a way they made to just cover up the crimes, blame them on other people, draw attention to them to make them look like random incidents not gang based ones. We don't know. We don't know anything. We're living in a simulation. Now at number two is the white flag. Shared by I'm Scud on the Random Nautica Challenge Instagram page, the video shows the user walking in the sandy area at night. They use a flashlight to light the way since the area was blocked off and restricted, and there they found a white flag in the middle of nowhere surrounded by a bunch of clothes. The clothes included a bra, jeans, socks, a discarded bag, and more. And there were way too many clothes for it to just belong to one person. There were a lot of people. People's clothes there, unless maybe it's just the closet of one person. This one just really rubbed me the wrong way because a white flag traditionally represents a surrender, am I right? And all these discarded clothes, it just gives me the impression that someone just raised the flag and gave up. Gave up on themselves or life, I'm not really sure. I just have this gut feeling something bad happened to this person or people and we'll just never get to the bottom of it. And finally, animal one is the foreshadowing. Now, just remember before I get into this story how the creator of the app, Comrade, used owls because they can influence the future or they used owls so we can influence the future for the logo, just keep that in mind. Now again, I shared on the Instagram page a random nautica underscore challenge, this experience was utterly harrowing and was shared by user Vendula Granikova. So she first set her intention as something shocking and she's a real MVP for actually stating what her intention was. You'd think an app based in intention, people would state what their intention was, like how does no one remember to do that when sharing their experience, like come on. Either way, the coordinates led her to an apartment building and on the building next to it, there was a wall painting or a mural that the user took a picture of. The picture is actually quite nice, it's not shocking, but I guess the app isn't always a success. Two weeks later, she decided to use the app again and it led her to the same apartment building, but this time, two whole apartments had had a fire and 11 people had died. And that is shocking. But how did the app predict or know something shocking was about to happen in that area? Like, micropsychokinesis is one thing but this is crazy. And that is it for today's video guys, let me know what you thought in the comments below, have you tried random nautica, let me know if you have down below and tell me what your experiences have been, have you been searching for something scary, something funny, something enlightening, let me know in the comments below. As always I'm your host Eamon Hassan and I'll catch you in the next one, bye! I don't have pockets? <gasps> Stupid things! Oh, oh I do have a pocket. <gasps> it's fake! Oh wow! 
Sorry guys. Wow, where'd I even I get wow. Wow, sexist clothing brands. That introduction was completely all over the place, but it's fine, at least I got through. <laughs> I guess I got through. <laughs> 